So right now we're really just trying to stand on the 200 day uh, as well as this key fib right around 55 to 60 cents. If we can establish that week over week, then we're gonna look to break uh, 81 cents and go above that. Welcome back to another episode of Wag Me TV. We're here today talking about the latest updates on XRP and where we think the price could go. As always, you know, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research about any projects or coins we talk about on this. And let's get into it. See ya. What do you have for us? Let's dive into uh, some TA to start. Let's get a, a kind of feel for where we are with the charts and um, where we could be going and, and kind of some key levels here. Um, so the first thing I want to point out is basically since, uh, you know, April of 2022, we've been in this, you know, channel, um, kind of weaving up and down between the highs and lows of the channel, mainly staying in the middle here. Um, you can kind of see, you know, we've slowly been trying to establish, uh, higher lows here pretty much, uh, you know, month over month, uh, establishing those higher lows, which is always a great sign. Uh, what I will say is that we also have been having a little bit of trouble you know, staying consistently on local uh, highs and, and new highs over uh, month over month. Um, so you can see here, you know, not necessarily every month is is higher. You know, we had this one drop. Uh, but since this in uh, early 2023, we've had higher highs pretty consistently. Um, what I will say, one of the key levels that we're at right now and why, you know, XRP is kind of, um, you know, not necessarily seeing the same level of growth uh, as some of these other coins um, is we're actually in a critical moment right here, trying to essentially flip this 200 day into a confirmed uh, support level. Um, so you can see right now, the 200 day is basically right where the uh, support line is for the XRP uh, price action. Uh, and you can see just a couple of weeks ago, we rose above that. And once we got above that and confirmed it, that's when you know the real gain came in here um of around you know 40 percent right just over uh, a couple of weeks um so again still not the same type of gains that we've seen in, in other tokens but at the same time i think there is potential here and um you know really the the main key uh level that we're going to be looking at to break above uh is this 85 cent mark 80 to 85 cents um because that is obviously the the you know main resistance that we haven't been able to get above since uh, march of 2022 um, so it's definitely something to be watching. I think once we get above that 85 cent level, um, then we're looking up towards, you know, a dollar and 20 cents or so. Um, and if we pull out this, uh, fib retracement really quickly, we can get a good idea. Um, and you can see too, this 200 day is lining up really, really nicely with, uh, the two, three, six, uh, Fibonacci level. Um, so if we can flip that into support, um, and, you know, have that be a convincing stand on the support. Then we're looking for that 80 cent break. And then after 80 cents up towards a dollar. And then that next really, really key level is going to be a dollar 20 uh, because that lines up closer with uh, the next resistance uh, that we saw back in 2021 after coming down from that all time high. Um, so right now we're really just trying to stand on the 200 day uh, as well as this key fib right around 55 to 60 cents. If we can establish that week over week, then we're going to look to break uh, 81 cents and go above that. And then once we get up there, we have a couple of resistances to break before we go into uh, price discovery. So any thoughts on that, Ev? That's kind of what we're seeing from the chart. Yeah, no, that's that's great analysis. I think when you look at where prices are right now versus 2021, we've really only seen Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe a couple other coins get back to those highs in 2021. So I think... Like you said, there's a lot of lot of room to run here. the The big question, I think, the elephant in the room is continuing to be that SEC lawsuit. We saw uh, more updates around a possible extension around certain filings getting released, and so that's always the tough part with with XRP right now is legally where are these battles at? I think there's a very good chance that Ripple is able to win this lawsuit, and I think. Earlier this year, we covered some major achievements and, and successes that they've had so far throughout this lawsuit, but it's continuing uh, to be ongoing. And, and that's the state of crypto right now. You know, I think we still have uh, a Coinbase lawsuit out there. We still have the SEC looking into Ethereum and, and lawsuits against XRP as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's the elephant in the room. And potentially once we could see this down the road start to clear up legally, 
um, it feels like that drag on the XRP price could really change and we could start to get back to potentially those all time highs. You know, I think as a channel, we're still very bullish on XRP and we think there's a lot to come for it. But, you know, looking short term, that's just the toughest part is that lawsuit kind of hanging over it. Yeah, and I think you bring up a couple of good points too, because it's not only just the the image of the lawsuit and how it's kind of bogging down the company and the token overall, but also you brought up a good point earlier about the the financial implications, right? And how much it's costing them year over year. I think the number that you threw out, you know, was was a lot more than most companies do in a year in revenue that they're spending on legal fees. Um, so it's you know definitely something that is costing them, uh, both from a public image standpoint and then also. Uh, financially. So I think that it still really needs to be taken into consideration. Um, and given that this started in 2021-ish, um, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes on for another year or two, uh, especially if an extension comes in. Uh, you know, the way these courts work, you know, dates are, are months in, in in the future, right, when, when things are established. So um, I think that's definitely, you know, something to consider, even though, you know, we, we are bullish on it. And I think that that's, you know, as long as that hangs over, it's going to be hard for it to to push for those crazy price targets we see of, of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. So, um, yeah, yeah. But I, th I think a, a win for XRP would be a win for crypto. Um, mm -hmm. I think we could continue continue to see the uh, positive news out of XRP affect positive price action in other coins too. So, you know, we're really looking for good result out of the lawsuit and to continue moving forward. It feels like it drags on, but continue moving forward with these lawsuits. Um, as always, if you guys like this content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Love to hear your thoughts on XRP and really where you think XRP could be going in the next year. But as always, wag me.